My name is Jason Miller, founder of Aspen Now Solutions, and we're about to unlock the power of ServiceNow. I want to thank all 1,486 subscribers globally for subscribing to the channel. If you're new to the channel and you believe in transferring information to those who need it most, just click subscribe. I promise not to transfer your information to any third party or anyone for that matter without your express permission. Okay, so today what we are going to do is we're going to dress up our little assignment group field here, which is a reference field, as a choice field. And also what we're going to do is make it searchable. So that way you can do a contains search instead of just the traditional starts with search um, that this, uh, this reference field currently has uh, going on here. So for example, if I want to find Aspen now, I have to type in AASPN. I can't type in NN in order to find Aspen now. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to right click or two finger click if you're working on a Mac like me and we're going to select configure dictionary and what that's going to do is it's going to bring up the dictionary entry for assignment group and one thing we'll note here is that this is on the task table so just keep in mind that if you're implementing the solution <clears throat> what's going to happen is every uh, table that extends task, meaning incident, problem, change, etc., is going to inherit the same attributes. You'll see here I added this little comments box, and the reason why I did that <clears throat> on this form is because if I want to kind of shuffle out attributes and kind of play with the field, um, I really don't have anywhere to cut and paste it, so I just kind of put this comments field in um, to go ahead and, and move this stuff around. So <clears throat> another thing about this assignment group field is that it had that tree picker equals true. And uh, I'm not sure if you ever worked the help desk, but if you have a thousand uh, assignment groups in here, and granted, they might be filtered based on certain other fields on your form, but scrolling down and trying to select an assignment group um, can be a real hassle. So what we're going to do is we're first gonna take that tree picker out of there. So I wanna move this out. And like I said, I'm going to use this comments box right here. And I'm going to save this dictionary entry. Now we're going to reload this form. Actually, we probably don't even need to reload the form. This is going to do another search. And we're going to see here how, how different uh, this, this, um, this layout is. So here, um, this is probably a little bit better, right? Because we can search um, if we want to. And I'll pull up Aspen now. And that's nice and everything. <clears throat> but our assignment group field for Halloween really wants to be dressed up as a choice field. So next thing we're going to add um, is these three attributes. So I'm going to pull this out right here. And what we're saying is, hey, we want this thing to look like a choice. Then you're going to see us max ref dropdown equals 500. And the reason why I put 500 there is because if there are <clears throat> more than 500 entries, it's not going to revert back. It's not going to look like a choice field at all. And then we're going to do is searchable uh, choice equals true. And the reason we're doing that is so that way we can leverage that contains functionality within that choice field. So let's click save here. And now I am going to refresh the form. And we'll see our assignment group. Okay, so now right here, we'll see our assignment group field. It changes. So now it's kind of like this drop down and everything. So um, before we explore a little bit further, uh, what I wanted to mention was that our sponsor, Third Republic, um, is looking for ServiceNow developers. And uh, this is the job li listing right here. And the person to contact, and I'll let you scroll through this um, at your own leisure is Brad Potter. Uh, you can connect with Brad on LinkedIn. He's a great guy. I've interacted with him several times. Um, really responsive and I, I find that that quality in a recruiter um, is probably one of the best you can have is to always you know be responsive and get back to people. Third Republic by the way is uh, pretty much your premium best-in-class solution for finding ServiceNow talent, Salesforce talent, MuleSoft, etc. Um, I'll let you guys uh, you know take a look at the LinkedIn page for yourselves. And also, one thing I want to mention is that word on the street is 
these guys are going to have a meetup, ServiceNow meetup, in London, I think sometime in November. So it's not official just yet, but it's probably coming your way soon. So one thing I wanted to, going back to the assignment group field is, like, let's say I change this to one. Now we'll see what happens when I refresh this form. And you'll see that it turns back into a reference field, so it's going to look like this assigned to right here. All right. And why did it do that? Because basically what it's saying is, look, there's more than one value in here, so you're going to have to up that number in order to make this a choice field. So if I change it back to 500, it pretty much covers us in, the, in this scenario. And again, this would be something that you'd have to you know, talk about within your organization and say, you know, do we want to create another assignment group field that doesn't extend on, you know, from the task table um, and just reference that sys user group table and then you could use that one instead of this one that extends from task. So if you just wanted to do it like on your incident form, for example, you would just create another one on your incident form. So let me go ahead and refresh. And I kind of like the way this looks. I mean, I know it's Halloween and, you know, our assignment group field is all dressed up and everything, but maybe this will be permanent. So now if I want to go ahead and find, like, Golden Parachute, all I have to do is type in ENP or even N space P. So I really like that functionality. Um, I know that for the sys user table that you can uh, do a system-wide uh, sys property, I believe, or user preferences, I can't remember which one, in order to make that, you know, assign to searchable. You know, one other thing you can do in reference fields, too, when you're searching is, like, if you want to do a contained search, um, you know, let's just say we want to do Jason Miller. Sometimes you can do a um, asterisk right in there, and it'll, it'll look it up for you. And... Let's see if we can get it on the caller field. There we go. So look, Jason Miller right here, it's showing up, so it's doing that contains. Uh, for the assigned to, I'll probably have to look and see if there's an attribute on there that's um, not running correctly. But basically, that would, that would be a good way to um, do the contains if you, know, you didn't have the time to do all the back end work and you just want your users to be able to do a contain search um, from this field. My name is Jason Miller, founder of Aspen Now Solutions, and we've just unlocked the power of ServiceNow.